analytics debt. What yeah. is it? And for me, with you advising me as an early stage founder, yeah. what can I do to make sure that I have the right data foundations or analytics foundations for you to come in and do your job properly? What should I set up for you? Yeah. I mean, a good um, indicator of analytics debt is if I come in and ask uh, a, a very basic question, say, show me, you know, last month's cohort of users um, and kind of, you know, how they're retaining a D30, uh, for instance, not being able to answer that question in a simple way or a series of questions that one should be able to answer, or there being a really high cost to go answer those questions, like someone needs to go do a custom query of the database and it takes a few days, like that's a good indicator that you have analytics debt. In general, it's it being way too hard or costly to answer uh, questions about how the business is performing. So, so if I'm a founder, yep. I've got Google Analytics set up. Is yep. that is that enough for you? So that's the problem. A lot, a lot of people go to uh, visualization tools as, and Google Analytics is a little bit different, but say, you know, Looker, Mixpanel, whatever, like they go to um, visualization tools and say, hey, we have dashboards, like that's, we have our problem solved. The reality is, is, you know, garbage in, garbage out. I think poor instrumentation of, of a product is actually a very common problem here. And so what I mean by instrumentation is like, if you're not actually capturing key user events in the product, it's maybe simplest to understand this in e-commerce, right? Like add to cart, check out, you know, revisit site, et cetera. But for like social products, it's much more challenging. Uh, if, if you're not actually logging the right events there, then you, you have no idea what's happening inside your product and you can't start working on growth until, until you have that lens.